Hello amazing people, welcome again to my channel. My name is Jamako. Today I want to show you how to come about this. Invite this flyer which can be posted online by your social media handles. A post that can tell people about your programs and so using Photoshop we are going to achieve this. So let's get on to it. First of all, I'll create my new page. So I'm using Pixel for my measurements. 10 by 80, 10 by 80 heights, 200 resolution, and hit creates. So the first thing first, I'm going to bring in my background, which is this. Place it there. So I'm going to draw in a rectangle using my rectangle tool I'll make this black so once it's black I'm going to add um, layer max here <coughs> then I will click on the gradient tool make sure it's radial gradient reverse and then just adjust a little bit like that so you can see the adjustment there just to make our background so I'll bring in this just to spice it a little bit so I'll change the blend mode choose a blend mode um, which one which one which one so let's check which one can go for so let's go with this Let's go with this color dodge. Color dodge. Uh, then we click. So now we have that. Let's just reduce it. Let's pick it up a little bit. Yeah. So the next thing I'll be doing, I'll draw another rectangle. This time around, I'll change my color. Pick a color, something like this. So you can go with any color of your choice. It's actually my own choice. As a graphic designer, you should have options of colors. And choose something nice. Attract your, your viewers and those that give you the job to do so now I'm going to let me remove it from from these uh, gradients so I place it here remove it from reverse then just blend it there like that so then that's that for that so the next thing I'll be doing I may reduce I'll give it um, contrast here my background this in particular I will increase the contrast and reduce just like that yeah <clears throat> so the next thing I'll do I want to write the name, bring in our logo, I write the name of the church. So let's do that, bring in my logo. And now I have this. I click rasterize the layer, bring it to the center there. Let me lock these ones so that I will not be touching them. The name of the church, I need to write and bomb Jesus, the hope of the church. The he is US.
just the branch let's state them. Without that, reduce my size, place it place it at the middle there. So the next thing I want to write reason for the program. So now I'm going to show you how to get the 3D text. If you go to your browser, how to download, you go to freepix, freepix.com. So once it opens, you search for 3D text. Actually, depends on what you want to use for your design. I'm using a gold text. So I'm going for gold 3D text. I'll say PSD because I'm using Photoshop. So I'll click. So it will give me options, series of options. So you can see them. You check for the one that you want for your design. You pick and insert your text and it changes to that particular text you are using. So you can use any font of your choice. So if you download it, you will have it. So now, if you download, open, you get something like this. So I downloaded this from there. So I want to change it to my own text. So now, once I go to this, your text here, so they are telling you your text here, I'll double click. And it gives me option to change my the text. So the name of this font here is Agruza. Agruza as the name. Don't know if I pronounce it right, but let's go on. I'll change the text there. Push. That's the name of the program. Push. So now, what I'll do, I want to add at least to spice it up. I'll bring in this icon which I downloaded from pngwings.com. So I'll bring it into my image. So I'll place it here. Bring it into my design, sorry. Place it here. Then change my color so that they can have the same color. So I'll place it where actually you want it to be. I want it to be here. After that, I see, click and save yes. Then on the 3D, to change it for me on the original 3D space. So let's wait for it to change so you can see and see how beautiful it is. So now I need only the text. I want to take it to my design so I'll off the background and the presentation here. And now I'm going to hit the Control Alt Shift and E key. Control Alt Shift key create a layer to match the layer for me. All right. So I forgot one thing out of these shadows. So I do it again. Control Alt Shift E so to create a layer which I can pick on my design. Let's wait for it to do that. Now I take it to my design and place. You can see it amazing, 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 guys. So you place it there. 
as simple as that simple design simple information you're good to go so now what i'll be doing next let me take this down a little bit so now let me add some few shadows a drop down shadow to just spice up my text so now I'll change the blend mode to normal opacity distance you can see it's giving our text a balance with our background so let me add contrast to to the text just to give it a good look so uh, you can see nice 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 guys so now the next thing i'll do i'll type in a text montserrat the font i'll still be using montserrat let me use montserrat the black actually free until something Okay, happen. Yes, that's it, guys. So you just bring it there. You add, let me add some gradient overlay on it. So I'm going to be using two colors, the darker part of this text. Uh, let me use the dark part a little bit dark and the light part of it just to give it that look so guys at least by getting it so let's go down little bit yes so this program holds every ID let's write the formations every last Friday of the month So I'll change this to light. I want it to be light a little bit. Mm. I'll shift it to a position there. Mm. So that's that. Close every last Friday. The mods. Uh, let me increase it a little bit. Yes. So right now, I'm going to be drawing some lines. Lines. Uh, let's put it to the outline. The tree. And hit OK. Draw a line. You have that line now. So this line does the design. I will just take space that will demarcate our time and what are you. Let me just bring in already typed one, the one I've typed before. With time wasting, I'm bringing the text place there. So you can see, guys. Simple design. That's how I came about this. The most important job to do is to get your 3D. We have to download it. How to make some effect on them. Change the text and boom. Voila, you have your design. 
let me just bring in the content from this or this I'll tell you how I got this All this, I will just drag to my design. Avoid time wasting. At least I've gotten so, guys. That's it. Our design is done. So, the icons I'll place them down. I have some couple of icons. PNG icon you can get them on the description below download them make use of them so let me show you how I customize them to my color so it's for um, for instance I'm using this Instagram round I bring it to my design so you bring it to your design then please your color Go to what? Color overlay. So you choose a color for your design. What color do you want it to be? You select and that's how you change it. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more, more, more. Don't forget to like, comment, tell me what you think about this design subscribe guys subscribe i want us to grow together grow this my channel subscribe guys please so thank you and see you next time